All right, everyone. So hopefully you guys saw episode one of buying the weirdest airsoft items online, but this is going to be episode two. You guys loved episode one so much, I thought I would do a second one. And boy, do we have a whole bunch of weirder and cooler stuff in this one. Obviously you guys saw in the thumbnail, this is going to be that crazy mask in the thumbnail in this box. We're gonna be opening that very, very soon. All of these weird stuff I found are actually from different websites. We have wish.com and then finally we have etsy.com, our new contender for this one. We do not have an episode one, but this is actually the one from Etsy, this huge, crazy custom mask. All the way from Russia. So with that said, let's go ahead and start unboxing. So first up, I'm gonna go ahead and do with this little envelope thing. I think I already took a peek just to see if this was something that was supposed to be in this video, but I'm not actually sure. Obviously, like always, I always forget what I ordered because it's kind of like random stuff. So basically, we're gonna be going ahead and uh, kind of just remembering along with me what I actually unboxed. And obviously, I'll show the price of what I paid for everything right now. Super embarrassing. Yikes, Oof, brother. But um, obviously, I'll show you the price of each individual thing. And because I think a few of these are some really cool red dot sites that are kind of like clones to the actual ones. So we'll see if they're actually worth the money. So first up. <laughs> Did I seriously buy this? <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is definitely like a wish.com 100%. I think this is like an axe or a hatchet or something like that. I have no idea why I buy half the stuff I do in these videos, but it turns out funny for you guys, so it's kind of fun. But yeah, I don't know why I actually thought it was a good idea to buy a hatchet, but well, at least it looks cool. Go ahead and pull that off. Whoop. I must have gotten drunk and bought this. It kind of feels more plasticky on the actual handle wise, but this little paracord around it looks really cool with the OD green and actually looks uh, pretty kind of usable actually. But at least for the rest of the boxes, we can go ahead and put away this knife and actually use this crazy absurd hatchet to actually unbox the rest of the items in this video. All right, up next we have this little baggie. Let's go ahead and see what we got. I'm trying to use our hatchet now to unbox the rest of the stuff in here. That eh, didn't work out too bad. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, it looks like it's in here. Good thing we have a uh, freaking hatchet. I don't know if this is even sharp. We'll see. Wow, this hatchet was actually not a bad purchase after all. <laughs> So basically we have this little tiny white box. I think this might be some kind of red dot side, but we'll actually check out and see what it is. I believe that's everything in there. Yep. So we have just this little white box. Let's see what's actually in this guy. Oh. Looks like we have a little Allen key, but this is what we actually got in here. Oh, so I believe this is just like a simple rail riser for a like a T1 model, you know, clone or real like T1 red dots. I think this is what this is. And I think it just looked really cool. So I went ahead and bought it. And I think the price is pretty good, too. Here's the price of it. Um, obviously, for that price, I think it looks pretty good. And it seems to be pretty like, you know, robust. I think it's full metal. So it might be actually pretty good. All right. Up next, I say we go with one up here. Uh oh, bright colors is never a good sign. Adjustable windage and elevation. That's also not a good sign. Uh, I was getting real scared there for a second, but I think it's just a green and red laser. So let's actually go ahead and unbox this and see what it looks like real quick. Boop. Looks like we got some batteries, um, some Allen wrenches so we can actually have this guy work. It looks like the laser actually comes out of the end right there and it just goes to a Picatinny mount, pretty cool. So we're gonna actually throw on the batteries real quick and see what this actually looks like. Yeah, that shit lasted 10 seconds and then it broke. All right, next up we'll go with this super suspicious looking package that looks like drugs, but we're gonna go ahead and box this next. Let's go ahead and see what we got in here. This hatch is actually pretty sharp. Just slid that right open on the top. I think I'm the only person stupid enough to do a airsoft unboxing with the hatchet, but that's besides the point. Next up, we're actually gonna do a little, I guess it's a black box. It looks to be, I could be anything in here. I'm a little scared what I ordered. Again, I don't remember anything I ordered except for this big box because I've been waiting for that for a while, but what the heck? Um, what? I'm down to do this one up next. It looks like a little white box. Let's see what we got. 
Man, this hatchet just is working beautifully. Let's go ahead and get the rest of this guy off. I'm not sure what this is. Oh, it looks like a little case maybe? Oh yeah, let's see what actually is in here. I think that's it, yep. Oh, it's like a little red dot set. Okay, cool. So basically this is a replica RMR and basically I wanted to actually test out if this was actually anything good. So basically the real ones are absurd prices like this. Um, and this one is just like a clone, I believe. And it's, you know, obviously a lot less is how much I paid for that. I think on wish.com. So let's actually see what this guy looks like. The case is pretty cool. Obviously nothing crazy fancy, but it's good that you actually get a case with this little guy. But, ooh, I got a red one, it looks like. I don't even remember that. Bruh, that's orange. Pretty sweet. So it looks like to basically be a pretty much a one-of-one one replica. Obviously, I don't never owned a real one of these because they are absurdly expensive. So obviously, these are usually for pistols as it's really small profile. Ooh, but I've actually seen people use this kind of red dot sight on M4s with some kind of rail mount riser like this. Just because um, it's such a small red dot sight, if you were to put it on the top rail of your gun, you'd have to get super down with your, like, had to actually see through there so many people just put a rail riser and obviously looks pretty cool when it's all set and done like so it also comes with a little mount to a little glock so that's pretty cool it's just a basically a glock mount and you can replace the bottom section of this picatinny stuff for the red dot for this actually mount that goes onto the top of glocks which replaces the back sight of it to this little red dot sight so that's obviously really cool if you want to put this on a glock you can with this mount all right next up let's go with this little a little suspicious looking bag over here. Let's go ahead and open this and see what we got. Oh wow, so basically this is just a whole bunch of other stuff in the bag itself. Oh boy, this stuff feels so weird. Let's see what's in here. Oops, I didn't do that. All right, let's see what is in here. I honestly have no idea what any of this stuff is. I ordered this so long ago. By the time this actually gets here, it's been like a month or two, and I just never remember what I got. And, uh, oop! Looks like we have a, another uh, full mask that is probably not safe to use. Obviously, I'm going to do what I did in the last video. I'm actually going to test out to see if these masks hold up to BBs. Because obviously you don't want to be buying these cheap masks online that are, you know, pretty cheap and just ill-advised to wear during games. And I always like to kind of proof test these to see if they're actually able to be played with and, and, and you're still safe. I believe because of the coldness of this material, I think it's metal obviously for the visor. It'd be crazy if they use plastic. So I think this is just metal with obviously some holes in it. So this is the gun of choice. This is a about 400 FPS, uh, 60 RPS DSGs. Nope. As you can see, about four or five shots, it already just pierced through the lens. Um, yeah, that is not good because obviously people aren't going to be that close shooting you that many times, but it is a possibility if you're just standing there. So obviously, very, very not safe. not very uh not very uh, safe and obviously you could see the little like the indents on the glasses when you shoot it yeah definitely not very safe to wear what the heck oh it's a flashlight and of course it does not come with batteries because this thing probably is cheaper than a double a battery itself so whatever uh, you win some, you lose some, but I was trying to get a free AA battery from that, but you know, sometimes you lose them. Anyway, next one, this is going to be a little black guy. Let's see what's in here. Actually, it worked out pretty well. I have no idea what any of this stuff is, and quite frankly, I'm a little afraid of what I ordered. Late at night, uh, shopping on Wish.com usually is not the best recipe, so I'm actually kind of scared to see what I actually got in some of these, but oh my gosh, this is like a little knife. That's actually sick. Okay, let's see what we got in here. Okay, it's like a little clip, and then you take it out. Oh, no way. It's kind of like a CSGO, like case hardened, like skin, but like a tiny little butcher's knife. This thing is sick. <laughs> That's how small it is for reference. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. I wonder if it's sharp enough to cut open the next couple things. All right, we're gonna be trying to use this little tiny butcher knife to actually unbox the rest of the stuff. So we'll see if it even works. Oh, looks like it does. All right, so next up, it looks like it's a product from Daisy. Let's actually see what is in this guy. It comes with a little case as well, so could be about anything. Let's see what we got. Um, oh, maybe it's just, is it just shooting glasses, maybe? I'm not sure. Oh yeah, so it looks like we got some shooting glasses. 
All right, so this is the product. We got these little like shooting glasses with these crazy reflective lenses on them. But what else do we got? We actually have some replacement lenses. Looks like we got yellow, black, and then clear. Pretty cool. Well, that lasted two BBs. Let's do the rest with some full auto. Yep, those don't work. All right, looks like we have one more item um, in that little baggie. Let's actually see if I can open this with this little tiny butcher knife too. Um, I think it's sharp enough. Oh yeah, we're, we're chilling. This thing is razor sharp. All right, next up, let's see what this is. We're gonna need our little guy back, see what, what's actually in here. All right. Damn, that little knife is actually a really good purchase. Oh, oh boy. Let's see what this is, whoop. Oh, okay, this is not what I expected. I thought it was gonna be like a flashlight, this like big ass flashlight, but this is just a, basically a tracer. Oh my God, this thing is crazy big. <laughs> I thought this thing would be like, maybe a, a quarter of this size. This thing is actually kind of big. Like usually in the pictures, it looked like it was like super small for like pistols, but this thing looks like an actual like whole ass tracer. Interesting plug here. Looks like it comes with a little USB plug so you can actually charge this bad boy. This is how much I paid for this guy up here. Basically, I'm going to be trying this out at nighttime. Obviously, I'm going to charge it up. And then, you know, when the nightfall comes, we're going to be trying this out and seeing if that actually works and it's worth the money. Again, it looks, you know, pretty cheap. Got random kind of brands on there. It just says lights, which is pretty funny. Um, yeah, it's got a woof that breathes fire, apparently. That's very interesting. But yeah, basically, we're going to be charging this up and shooting it at nighttime to see if this thing actually works. All right, people, we're making some good progress now. Let's go with this little guy next. Go with the hatchet on this bad boy. Oop. All right, looks like we just got a little box in here. Huh? Let's see what we got. What the heck? Oh, it's okay, you pull it out like that. Let's see, let's see. Um. Oh, I think I remember. Oh, shit. broke it. Anyway. I think I actually remember what this is. So this thing is actually crazy. So in this box is actually a little mirror. So right now I have it set it up. If I look through this little hole, I can actually see what's to my left. Now I could see what's above me. And then now I could see what is to my right. So basically if you're in a you know hallway and you want to see what's to the left of the hallway without actually peeking out your whole body, you can actually put your gun like to the wall like this and you can actually see what's down the hallway. It's basically like wall hacks. Let's see up next what is in this little tiny white package. Let's go back and see if we can use our little tiny knife for this guy. Oh boy, here we go. So it looks like when I was up late, very, very late, too late to be ordering stuff online, I actually ordered this like golden little crossbow thing you can kind of do. But basically, uh, yeah, this again looks like you need a uh, rocket space engineering degree to build this. So I'm gonna go ahead and skip this for you guys. All right, we got one more box of stuff and then we got these final crazy custom mask all the way from Russia that I'm super excited for. I've been waiting that thing for so long. Uh, I think it got delayed a few different times. So obviously I couldn't get it when I wanted to, but yeah, let's see actually what is in this box right here. Let's see what's in this guy. Oh, what is this? No idea. Um, hmm. Oh, okay. So it looks like to be another little mask here. This one actually isn't, doesn't seem super bad quality. Obviously it's all plastic, but it doesn't look super bad. I'm actually curious if this one will withstand some, you know, BB blast from a, you know, fully custom DSG. actually holding up okay um it is making these crazy indents which is usually not a good sign of a strong mask but it is technically protecting someone but obviously if you're on full auto maybe that will change jeez all right one more mag All right.
right, wow. That's a strong mask. Obviously, you really messed up the mask, but wow, it didn't, nothing penetrated at all. Uh, wow, really, really safe mask, actually. Obviously, I wouldn't recommend getting anything from uh, Wish.com. I'd go to a certified airsoft dealer and get a certified goggle or class to actually play on the field with because I wouldn't really trust anything random online. But wow, these really stood up. All right, last thing in this box. Let's see what we got in here. So this is actually going to be the last box of today's video before we go on to the uh, custom mask. So let's go ahead and get this out of the way so we go on to that super cool custom mask. Oh boy, I don't know what this is. All right, tactical wild mask. I'm not sure if that's the right terminology for a mask. Cause usually I like my mask to be calm. I don't want a wild mask, but this guy looks like he is up to no good. Let's go ahead and see what's actually in this guy. I think it just is the one on the picture on the front. Uh, not as quite as threatening without the hoodie, but looks pretty cool actually. Pretty similar to it looks like in the picture, which is cool. And even looks like you can add a little GoPro mount to the end of this mask, so that's really cool. It just feels like this thing is super strong polymer, like. Like this thing is not, not doing anything. It just kind of, you know, the paint's kind of fading away, but this thing is super, super, super strong plastic. It's it's barely even bendable, which is pretty impressive. But obviously the problem is going to be these little lenses and see if they'll get shot out. So obviously the mask itself is cool. You got a little mount right there, pretty sweet. It looks unique, but the problem actually is going to be these little lenses on the mask and see if they'll actually survive that uh, Airsoft DSG at the end of the video. So. Uh, kind of promising, I would put my money probably on this one out of all the other ones. Uh, so far it feels the most rigid and everything feels the most high quality. And the lenses actually feel pretty thick as well. So let's see if this guy will actually survive a $1,000 custom DSG right now. And then after that, we'll go on to our final box. Yeah, basically two shots. The kind of like protective film kind of comes off. And you can see kind of in the corner, it's kind of like ripping a little bit. Maybe that's just the uh, part of the mask, but we'll see if it shoots. Yeah, that just instantaneous one shot through the left side after a couple uh, shots prior. That's really, really dangerous. Obviously this is a fail. All right, party people. This is going to be the last box of the video. The grand finale, the custom mask across seas. The mask from Mother Russia. This is going to be the final box into the video. And I cannot wait to see actually how this turned out because I spent a absurd amount of money. Please don't tell anyone, this is how much I spent on it. Yeah, but actually it is airsoft proof, so it's pretty cool. Basically, we could be using this really cool, you know, hatchet or whatever you want to call it, but we can't let our little guy down and not use our little guy. My boy. Oh, very nice. Cool, all right. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Ooh, that looks crazy. So it has this little kind of like, this protective like foam on the sides of it. This looks like, I don't even know, like hamster bedding or something. This looks crazy, okay. So go ahead and see what this guy looks like. We'll go ahead and put this to the side. But this guy was definitely protected in here. It looks pretty cool. This is our first part. Um, Not sure what this is. Let's actually see what's in here. All right, so first up in this box, we got this little like, I don't even know what this is at all, like literally zero idea. Might be something to do with the mask under it. But again, this is from Etsy. So basically everything is custom made here. Everything you see is custom made, so pretty cool. Zero idea what this actually is for. Yeah, so let's go ahead and put that to the side and see what the actual mask looks like. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. I think that's it in the box. So basically got this custom kind of like foam stuff. Actually a pretty good way to secure the mask. This is it right here. Pretty big. So let's go ahead and unbox this and see what it looks like. We're gonna not be messing around with this guy. Let's use the hatchet. Try not to break anything. This is all custom made and it's very expensive. So I'm trying not to break everything, but I'm really excited. So without further ado, let's see what this guy looks like. 
Obviously this is a Halo kind of like ODST mask, but it looks like it has like this LED skull and it looks really sick. Kind of basically like cosplay quality stuff. So you can kind of see it in the front right there, but obviously if you look inside, you can actually see the actual skull itself. And I'm pretty sure actually all this thing is just wired up with LEDs within. So when you actually look through here, you can actually see a skull illuminate on the mask. It'll be really sick. This actually is pretty big, actually bigger than I think. I think I'll be able to even fit my big ass head in here. It looks like this kind of cracked on the side here. But you know, this is custom made, so obviously you can expect things like that. Obviously I paid an absurd amount of money for this, but just for the memes, I'll do it for you guys. So if you look in here, it's actually pretty cool. They have these like custom little foam things for your head to actually fit in there without, you know, hurting you. And it looks like you kind of just wear it like a little mask, like so. And there's like all these, you see these LEDs at the top right there, pretty cool. And then it actually illuminates the mask. So I'm guessing you just plug this into, it looks like a nine volt battery. There's a little homemade patch for it right there. There's a switch, you turn that on. And I'm guessing these little LED lights at the top actually light up um, to whatever color you want. I think, I forgot what color I actually ordered, but I'll check it out in a minute. And then you put this on your head and then the actual skull, like you see right here, this little skull mask, it actually illuminates through the top of the actual helmet and it looks really really cool in the pictures and obviously the uh helmet itself is pretty cool it's all green and have a custom paint job on there it looks like it just been roughed up a little bit it's just a really cool look obviously got that you know custom paint job throughout the helmet i paid extra for that i pretty much paid extra for everything i think the lights um the you know like the paint job and that's actually airsoft proof believe it or not i actually paid for it to be airsoft proof and i'm actually really hesitant to see if i want to shoot this and see if it actually is airsoft proof at the end i think i'll feel bad for that so i'll probably just give this away on my airsoft club first link in the description below because i'd feel bad for even like trying to shoot this even if it does hold up to airsoft i do actually don't want to you know risk it and uh, this is a really expensive mask and it's like 400 dollars i paid for it with all the you know everything combined and i want someone to have this if they're a really big halo lover or just like custom cosplay stuff and it obviously is a really cool room decoration as well so i don't want to risk shooting this guys i'll probably just give this away in my club that is the top link description below i give away a airsoft item like this every single week i've actually only given away guns so far but this is really expensive and cool so i think i'll do a whole giveaway with this too in the club as well thank you everyone for watching that wraps up the video if you guys did enjoy and want to see a part three make sure to like the video that really does help me out and obviously if you want to stay updated on new videos i post make sure to click that notification bell and subscribe to the channel but with that said guys i'll see you guys in the next one